Jim go for being a drug dealer. No, but I noticed that her security don't have this. Now, usually there's a competition like this between one security team and another competing security team. Um, and the good guys win the vests, right? So if what if I had been here, I'd have dismissed all the security for not having bulletproof vests in case Clary Stalling is not actually Chris Stalling, but Tina Jean fucking Yeehaw body from the South come up stealing crack, right? It's not that it never happens, okay? And it's not that black people don't get strong-armed by white drug addicts in America to provide drugs to them at less than cost, right? Like a blackmail issue, right? But what I think's happened is that a Velda drum girl has won that job in a divorce. It might have been a divorce from a rapist. It might have been a rapist who might have been her dad, which is what happens in Africa like this. About drug cartels and good-looking young women who just happen to own them. I believe that nobody asked Avelda Jungo what she wanted to do for a living or how she would have conducted it, right? Nobody put that factory there without security on. Listen, that factory needs more security than a shop full of knives. And if I had to give her any legal advice, I'd be like, if you can't, mate, if you couldn't, shut it down and move it somewhere secret. If it was in the middle of the country, nowhere, the customers all have to pay for the transport and the security fences and the drone scanning, EMP, security from the NSA. Well, then, fuck him. Fuck it, Crystal, mate. There's not a Santa Claus coming every day and not unless you pay for it.